Welcome to One World Ham Radio. This is KG7YDD. This video will include the initial setup of MMDVM or multi-mode digital voice modem with PiStar. Step-by-step -step instructions are listed in the description below. I would like to recognize Rick W7YP at Flathead Valley Amateur Radio Club for his help with this project. First thing you want to do is get your DMRI ID by registering with RadioID.net. After you receive your DMRI ID, go ahead and go to breadmeister.network and go through the registration process. This is where you put in your DMRI ID. After you register, come back to breadmeister.network and click on login. This is where you put in your call sign and your password. Now you want to go to the self care. You can access by clicking on your call sign. Scroll down to you see self care. Now go down to where you see hotspot security. This is where you need to create password. This is the password you will need for this Pi Star configuration. Save password. Then you can log out. Now we want to download Pi Star image to your computer. I am using Raspberry Pi 4. This is the latest version for it, so I'll go ahead and download it. Already done that step. While you're waiting for a download, let's get our SD card ready. Go ahead and insert it into your computer. First thing you want to do is format the card and then flash it. You can use any formatting tool of your choice. I use Disk Utility. You can find it here in, in the search. Type in Disk Utility. And this is what comes up. Now find your SD card, which should be right here at the external hard drive. Click on erase and erase. This formats the card and erases everything on it. I already done that step, so I'll go ahead and cancel out of it. Now we want to flash the SD card. You can use Bellini Atcher or Raspberry Pi of your choice. I'm using Bolina Atcher for this demo. I click on download. It's, once it's downloaded to your computer, go ahead and open it up. Flat, click on flash from file. This is the file you want to choose that we downloaded from a Pi Star downloads. This one's from my Raspberry Pi 4. Select target, which is the SD card that we will be using for the hotspot. And then click on flash. I already done that step to make this video a little bit faster. Before you eject the card, SD card, and put it into your hotspot, you can go through the Wi-Fi builder to access your Wi-Fi network. This step did not work for me, but you can try it. Go ahead and enter SSID. And the password, when you click submit, there's a file going to be downloaded to your computer. You take that file and drag it over to your SD card. And when you're done with that, you can eject and insert the SD card into your hotspot. Make sure you have power supply to your hotspot and an Ethernet connected if you're not using the Wi-Fi builder. This is my hotspot. Here's a power supply and an ethernet connection to my um, network. And I have a different video where I put the case together if you're interested in watching that one. Okay, now we'll give it about a minute to load up. Go ahead and open up a new web browser. Type in pi-star.local. And this screen should come up. Let's see, click on configuration if it doesn't take you there in about 10 seconds. You might, you will be actually propped the first time to put in a username and password. Since I just tested it out before making this video, it prompt me to put in a username and password, which is Pi Star for username. That's a default username you use the first time. 
and then default password is a Raspberry. You can change it later on in the configuration, but as that is the initial setup for the hotspot. In part two, I will go through PyStar configuration. Thank you for visiting the channel. If this is helpful to you, feel free to share, like, and subscribe. 73.